Hey, what is up guys, I device help here. And Apple today officially released iOS 10.1 to the public for every device, iPhone 7, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, all iPads, all iPod touches that support iOS 10 can do the software update over the air. The update's gonna be a 1.97 gigabyte, which was the same size as beta 5 for last week when I covered it. The build number stayed the same, 14B72. The only thing that changed from the fifth beta to the official release was that last letter there on the build, which is 72C. But other than that, the build is exactly the same. There's a bunch of new uh, bug fixes and improvement with this software, and I'll link you guys down below to the official log of all the changes Changes, including new updates to the maps application including transit support for Tokyo and other countries of course the portrait mode option for the iPhone 7 plus additional features and bug fixes a lot of bug fixes in the messages application as you can see there and again I'll link this entire post in the description down below for Apple's bug fixes and improvement they also released watchOS 3.0 to the public and tvOS 10.0.1 officially for the Apple TV as well but some of the things that I noticed with the new update of iOS 10.1 is that it was very glitchy, very buggy at first. The first five minutes of installing it on an iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. All other devices, everything ran perfectly. But it was so slow for whatever reason for the first five minutes. Everything started picking up. Uh, some of the new features that are added in the software that were already there in the beta is the reduced motion and the autoplay for message effects. That's just one of the smaller things that were added in terms of feature. And of course, on the iPhone a 7 Plus, we already know when I covered the portrait mode option, which allows you to take those bokeh or bokeh effect photos with the new device's dual camera. Now, I do know a lot of you guys were anticipating or hoping for new wallpapers, but we did not get new new wallpapers with iOS 10.1. It was officially released. I don't see any new wallpapers added to the software. No dark mode, as I mentioned before. This could be coming in future software updates. Not the wallpaper as much, but maybe dark mode as Apple did with the night shift feature that added it towards the end of the cycle of iOS 9. That could be the case with iOS 10. We don't know as of yet for sure. However, I did run a quick Geekbench score test here. As you can see down below, we can see the scores gradually from 4, beta 5, and then official release, which is the same release as today that was released last week for developers. We have 34, 44 on a single core, 34, 34 on a single core, and then we have the multi-score of 55, 77, and 55, 53. Of course, there's always margin for error. The performance is basically pretty much the same. iOS 10.1 is officially ready to go. Of course, Apple just released it to everyone. As I mentioned, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, if it supports iOS 10, it's ready for you over the air updates. You can go into settings and go into the software updates and you'll get prompted to update to the latest OS. But now all of you jailbreakers out there and I know you guys are waiting for a jailbreak, so am I. We already know that the Pangu team has jailbroken iOS 10 at the beginning stages in July, but is that jailbreak still possible on 10.1? Only the Pangu team knows, nobody really knows. You guys are asking me, should you update if you're running a jailbreak right now to iOS 10.1? If you have a jailbreak, I'd say stay there. I don't want to tell you go ahead and update and then the jailbreak takes longer than expected. If there's a jailbreak to be released, again, only the developers, the Pangu team, which is the one that we're relying on, is the one that know. Now, if you want to update to iOS 10.1 because of all the new features, especially for the iPhone 7 and all the bug fixes, that is a decision that you're going to have to make. We don't know if the jailbreak is going to work on the latest software, but we do know that the Pango team usually doesn't release jailbreaks for older firmware. Their goal is to always release it for the latest software, but they have done it before. So if you guys are running iOS 10.0.3 and you want to update to 10.1 but are waiting on a jailbreak, that's a decision you're going to have to make. I'm going to keep two devices on 10.0.3 just in case and two of the devices on 10.1. But this was a quick look at the official release and some of the features that I iOS 10.1 brings to the iPhone, especially to the 7 Plus. I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day, and I will catch you guys really soon. Peace.